The Minnesota Sports Facilities Authority is about to officially have new leadership. Tomorrow, Mike Vekic will replace Michelle Kelm-Helgen as the chair of the authority. This comes months after Kelm-Helgen faced a firestorm of controversy over the use of luxury suites at U.S. Bank Stadium. A scathing report by our state's legislative auditor found that Kelm-Helgen and members of the stadium authority acted unethically but not illegally by distributing free tickets in stadium luxury suites to political friends and family members. As a result, both Kelm-Helgen and executive director Ted Mondale resigned in February. Mary McGuire is live at U.S. Bank Stadium and Mary Vekic is walking into this new job with a lot on his plate. He sure is. He uh, will be overseeing a huge event happening here at the stadium in just 198 days. He will now oversee all of the operations of this $1.1 billion stadium, and that includes the Super Bowl. Now, he is no stranger to coming in and batting up cleanup for state agencies. He has served two stints as executive director of the Minnesota Lottery and is currently the chair of the Minnesota State Board of Trustees. This morning, the interim chair of the authority, former Minnesota Supreme Court Chief Judge, Justice Kathleen Blatz led her last meeting. On the table was a discussion regarding the authority's ability to market and sell suites given to them by the Vikings for non Vikings game events like concerts. The money would then go back to the public through the budget of the MSFA. Those with the Vikings organization raised some concerns. The Vikings clearly are concerned about that, not so much for a particular concert, but what that might mean for other, maybe for soccer or something on that order, and would like to have further discussions with, uh, with us about that. Now, as the meeting was happening, cleanup from last week's X Games was still underway. The authority says about 110,000 people attended the four day event. Now, the new chair will start tomorrow. Today is Blatz's last day in her position. But like you said, he has a lot on his plate. U.S. Bank Stadium just released their numbers for their first year in operation, and 1.6 million people visited here last year, Jason. Lots of successes for sure, but the scandal will certainly be a part of the new administration. Trying to clean it all up. Mary, thank you.